You are watching Christ's Commission Fellowship. Changing lives for eternity. Alam niyo po, I'm so excited because next week we will be celebrating our 35th anniversary. At may encourage ko lang po kayo. God has given us the privilege na napakaganda ng lugar natin, tama? And it's our responsibility to bring as many friends and loved ones and relatives that we can bring. Ang laki pa po ng space natin. Uh, sa ibang services, hirap na silang magdala. Tayo, we're so privileged, we can bring as many as we can. Tama ba? So, pag-pray nyo na po, kasi sa totoo lang, itong amazing, no? Pag nag-invite ka, magtataka sa, yes, okay kami dyan. Then all of a sudden, kung kailan narating na yung araw, bigla silang magbabako. Sabi something came up. Something came up. Something happened. Now, hindi ho yun necessarily nagsisinungaling sila or looking for an excuse. Hindi po. Talaga, it, something happens kasi we need to fight it out in prayer. Kasi nga, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, dominions, and powers. Kaya ho, nilalaban natin yan sa panalangin. In as much as we desire to bring people to the Lord Jesus Christ, Satan is doubly working para po pigilan yan. Kaya if you are really serious in making sure that our loved ones, our relatives, our friends would really be with us in eternity, laban na natin to sa prayer. Ilaban na natin. Nakuha ninyo? If, they will, if their excuse is wala kaming pera, then find a way para madala natin sila. Magsabay-sabay kayo, mag-carpooling kayo. Talaga, in other words, kung talagang seryoso tayo, ilalaban natin to kahit anong mangyari. Tama po? Kaya we will surely not top out but max out. Kaya talagang yun pong ating pong hanapin. And sa ating pong series, The Truth Matters, talaga pong it really matters because it's the truth. Kaya ho, ito po ay importante sa ating pag-aaral. Now, sa, sa atin po, ito pong last week, kung naalala ninyo, bago tayo tumungo dyan, uh, meron po kasing pag-aaral na nangyari sa Amerika. Ito po yung sabi po nila. And gusto ko lamang pong basahin sa inyo. Highways deaths were up in 2005 for the first time in 19 years. Umakit po ang death rate dahil lang sa vehicular accidents. Now, sabi niya, one reason for that, according to, the stu- to a study by the Government National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, is probably no surprise. Bakit? Sabi niya, distracted drivers. Distractions have always been an issue, but the new technologies that have burst on the scene have multiplied the problems. Ano yun? Drivers talk on their cell phones, check their email or send text messages, get direction from their GPS system, pop a CD into their stereo, change stations on satellite radio, help their kids with a backseat DVD player, and the study which tracks hundreds of drivers in the Washington, D.C. area for over a year and use sensor monitors to gather video and data about their behavior in the vehicles found that eight out of 10 collisions or near crashes involve a lack of attention from drivers just before the impact. Grabe, no? Yung distraction, no? No, sa madalit salita, kahit anong gusto mong dumating ka sa isang lugar ng safe and sound, pag na-distract ka, sigurado maapektuhan ka and pwede kang madisgrasya. Tama? And sa buhay po natin ito, ang daming distractions. Kung naalala ninyo last week, kung naalala niyo sa ating series on Acts and dinidiscuss natin ang Acts 21, basahin po natin sandali. See, Paul himself had some form of distractions. He was to go to Jerusalem to bring the offerings or to support that other gentle Christians donated or gave for the church. No? Ito nga sabi niya. And hindi lang yun, the Holy Spirit somehow directed him to go to Jerusalem. Pero din nyo, then Paul answered, What are you doing weeping and breaking my heart? 
For I am ready not only to be bound, but even to die at Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. And tinay sabi niya, and since he would not be persuaded, we fell silent, remarking, the will of the Lord be done. So it was very clear that the will of God is for him to be in Jerusalem. And yet the well-meaning Christians who came to understand that he would suffer greatly in Jerusalem, ano sabi? Huwag ka nang tumuloy, Paul! Please! Ano sabi ni Paul? Nadidistract din siya emotionally. Ano ba kayo? Ano ba ginagawa ninyo? Ba't ba kayo iyak ng iyak? Pinabasag yun naman yung puso ko eh. Ano, pasin niyo ba yan? And alam niyo bang maraming mga Christians, maraming mga tao, they knew what God want them to do and yet na-distract sila. Bakit? Dahil lang sa pag-ibig. Oo nga naman. Pag ang pag-ibig pumasok sa, sino, sa puso ng nino man, sabi niyo ba? Nahahamakin ng lahat, masunod ka lamang. Hindi niya sabihin. So what am I trying to say is this? Ang daming distraction sa buhay. To some of us, we, could not, we cannot enjoy the abundant life that God promised kasi we're distracted of so many things. Sample. Di ba ang saya-saya mo, you've been praying for a job. And the Lord answered your prayer. And somebody, somehow you were offered, let's say, the minimum wage. At first, oh, hallelujah, may swelto na ako. Meron na akong pera. Okay, tama. Masaya. Then all of a sudden, ang daming distraction. Biglang may nag-offer ng four gifts. Three gifts. One gift. May sila ang dami. Ikaw naman, sa daming explanation, insurance, as if, kailangan mo ito. Hindi naman masama yun. Kaya lang, ito rin. Kailangan mo din klaseng damit ito. Itong cellphone na ito, kailangan mo ito. So, ang daming distraction. So, lahat, hindi mo mapahindihan total. Babayaran mo lang, minimum lang na ganito. Tapos, pwede na. Hindi mo alam, baon na baon ka na pala. Hanggang sa hindi mo na alam pa paano babayaran ang utang mo. And then you'll begin to complain, God, Kulang naman yung binigay mong sweldo sa akin. Sabi ng Diyos, anak, hindi yan kulang. You were just distracted. Hello? Ganon din sa asawa. no ikakasal ka na, sabi mo, ikaw lang. Ikaw lang ang akin. Kaligayan, kamatayan lang maghihiwalay sa atin. Tama? Dumaan lang yung made of honor, na-distract na. Bakit ay pa na-itsura nito? Bakit? Di ba? Ang daming mga distraction. Pero ang sabi ng Diyos, kaya nga ito napaka-importante. Focus on the truth that matters. Kung meron pong katangian ang Christians na talagang alam mong Christian ka, ang Christian na talagang nai-enjoy niya yung abundant life na promise ng Diyos, ang isa sa mga karakteristik nito ay single-mindedness. Yan isa sa mga attribute ng isang Christian. Kaya siya blessed. He is single-minded in his pursuit of God. Tinan yung sabi ng Bible. Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. Hello? Andiyan pa kayo? Pag sinabi niyong pure in heart, ang ganda nito, inexplain ni James, the half-brother of Jesus, ang ibig sabihin niyan. Itong sabi niya. Diba? Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. So in other words, you pursue God, and God Himself will pursue you. Huh? Cleanse your hands, you sinners. And look at the words. Purify your hearts, you double-minded. Napasin mo yun? So kapag double-minded ka, hindi ka nakatodo, ang dami-dami mong gusto mangyari, you want God, and yet you want something else na ibang paraan, hindi talaga consistent with what God wants and with what in God's ways, obviously, distracted ka. And you cannot see God. Katataka ka pa't wala ang Diyos. Kasi distracted ka eh. Kaya nga, ayaw ng Diyos maging distracted. Kaya sabi ng Lord, pag anxious ka, ano yung sabi ng anxiety? Double-minded. Kaya tinan niya memory verse natin. Do not be anxious about anything. But in, ano, but pray, di ba? In everything, bakit? With supplication and thanksgiving. Tinan niya, sabi niya, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding or comprehension will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Ibig sabihin, keep your heart and mind focused on Jesus. 
Kaya kapag nawala ka kay Jesus, obviously, talagang ma- mawawala ka talaga. Ma- hindi mo ma enjoy yung promise ni Jesus. Nakuha? Nakakanindihan? Kaya nga, focus on the truth that matters. Pakasahin mo sa katabi mo. Focus on the truth that matters. Sabi mo, sabi mo, sabi mo. Yan. Now, ito. Ano yung truth? Bakit importante yan? Now, listen to this. Bakit importante yan? So, Jesus was saying to those Jews who had believed Him, naman, hindi lang basta naniwala, sabi ni Lord, no, 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 you have to continue in my word. Then, you are truly disciples of mine. Don't ever say you're my disciple and yet you do not continue in my word. Tama ba? Nakuha niya? Sabi niya, if you're truly my disciples, you will continue with my word. So, truly disciples of mine. Now, look at this. And this is something beautiful. And then you will know the truth. And the truth will make you free. Wow! Amazing! As you are remaining in Jesus, you will know the truth. Gusto mo akong makilala? Halimbawa lang. Ay, sama ka sa akin. Hindi mo makikilala nang nakikita mo lang ako, narinig mo lang magsalta. Punta ka sa akin, sama ka sa bahay, di ba? Para makilala mo ako. Di ba? Ganon din naman yung napangasawa ko eh. Sa ano? Parang, wow, gusto ko ito makasama. O, nung nakasama niya ako, biglang alam niya ng totoo. Di ba? Di lalo niya akong gusto makasama. <laughs> Joke na. <laughs> na, na, na. Isipin niyo, no? Parang, siyempre, the more you get to know. Tama? Ganon din sabi ni Jesus. If you remain in my word, look at the words. You shall know the truth. And amazingly, sabi niya, and the truth shall set you free. Tama? Now, ito pang sunod yan. Alam niyo, ang ganda ng blessing ni God. Sabi niya, and truly, truly, I say to you, if anyone keeps my word, he will never see death. Wow, what a beautiful promise. Now, alam niyo kung bakit ang mga Christians doon? Kahit ang dami lang persecution, ang dami ng umaaway sa kanila, alam niyo kung bakit sila tuloy-tuloy kay Jesus? Because they know they will never see death. Hello? Yeah, tandaan niyo to, kung Christian ka and you belong to the truth and you are remaining in God's Word, listen, remaining in Jesus Christ, Kung mamatay ka, hindi ka namatay. Lilipat ka lang ng tirahan. Okay ba yan? Naalala nyo, minsan may mga nanunundo, di ba? Naalala ko. Kaya pag ito, paalala ko sa inyo. Sabi ni Jesus kasi, kapag namamatay na, sabi niya si Philip, Lord, papano naman kami pupunta ng langit? Hindi naman namin alam ang daan. Naalala nyo? Ang sagot ni Jesus, I am the way, the truth, and the life. But what is he saying? You don't need to know. You, I will fetch you. Dadaling kita. Okay po. Okay po. Hindi niyo ba napansin pag may mga namamatay, sinusundo pa? Kaya huwag kayong sasama kung hindi si Jesus. Si Jesus lang. Huwag kayong sasama kahit kanino. Naalala ko na nasa US ako, kamakailan lang. May sakit ako eh. For, tas habang natutulog po ako, nanaginip ako. Nanaginip ako yung nanay ko. Habi niya, Obong, naga na. Habi ko, Nay, dahil ko pa pong gagawin. Dahil pa pinagagawa si Lord sa akin. O sige, iwan na kita, mauna na ako. Eh, patagal, matagal nang patay ang nanay ko. Eh, nung nagising ako, sa ko, patay ng nanay ko ah. <laughs> Pero buti na lang, hindi ako sa mama. Kasi eh, hindi naman si Jesus yung nagtatawag sa akin eh. <laughs> eh sabi ko, dahil ko pang gagawin na eh. Pasensya na kayo, mauna na kayo. Eh, parang bigla ako naisip. Alam nyo, kapag ka ano, kung sakali man, focus ka lang sa truth. Bakit? Kay Jesus lang. Bakit ka mo? Tino mo, I am the way. The truth. And the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Are you following? So when we say we focus on the truth, we are focusing on the person of Christ, of Jesus. The truth. Nagkakadiyan po? Sino ba ang tanging daan? Si Jesus. Si Jesus. So, anong klaseng Jesus? Ano yung nireveal ng Bible tungkol kay Jesus? That's it. Kaya sabi ni Paul, ingat din kayo. Not everyone, sabi niya, when you somebody preaches another Jesus, naniniwala kay kagad, sabi niya, no. Remember the Jesus that we preach, to, we proclaim to you. 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Kaya, inaalam niyo, whenever you read the Bible, alamin niyo, anong tinutukoy tungkol kay Jesus. Because Jesus is the very reason why it was written, beginning from the writings of Moses and of the prophets, they are all about me. Sabi ni Jesus, Nagkakanindihan po? Hello? Andiyan pa kayo? Tingnan nyo. Diba? John 1.45. Ano sabi ni Philip? Philip! Sabi niya, Nathaniel, we have, we 
saw what Moses and the prophets wrote about. So, Jesus, the son of Joseph. Oh, yung linaw nun. Diba? Ang linaw na kagad, Jesus, the son of Joseph. So, agad-agad, alam mo kagad na we're talking about Jesus of the Scripture. Hindi pa pwede yung, anong, sinong, anong klaseng Jesus yan? The Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things came into being through Him. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we behold the begotten glory of God. No, klaro na kaagad. Hindi pa pwedeng, ah, Jesus na, ano lang siya, tao lang. Hindi, hindi. Ang linaw na eh. Nakuha ninyo? Hindi yung, ah, Jesus, Diyos lang, hindi pwedeng tao. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Sinabi rin ng Lord eh. Fully man, fully God. Nagkakatinan po. So whatever is revealed in the scripture, you focus on that truth. Nagkakatinan. So para hindi ka nalilito. Tagapang si Jesus, tas, kaya ho, mapapansin si Paul, si Peter, every one of them, they knew and they focus on Jesus. And dun ho lang yung Christ, ano, ano, bakit ka mo? Because he rose from the dead. Hello? Pakigising ka tabi mo. Patay ka na ba? Ito, sasabihin ko sa'yo, Jesus rose from the dead for you. Nakakanilihan? Mga ah, kapatid, let me just tell you something. Sa buhay, marami kayo mga disappointments na mararanasan. Hindi ko mo nag aaten kayo, mga kasama nyo, Christians, eh parang free na kayo of any form of disappointments. Madi-disappoint kayo one way or another. Dahil tao tayo eh. Okay? But don't focus on the person next to you. Focus on the truth. Jesus. Pag iniwan ka ng asawa mo, sabi ni Jesus, wag kang mag-alala, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Okay ba yan? Andyan pa kayo? Habang tinanggal ka sa trabaho, paano na ako? Then, oh no, ever forget, seek me first in my kingdom and everything shall be added unto you. So, nagkakindinan tayo? You focus on the truth that matters. Now, ito, paano natin gagawin yan sa totoong buhay? Now, listen to this. No matter what happens, say it with me, no matter what happens, focus on the truth that matters. Okay, good. Tama-tama yan. Bakit ka mo? Hop. Humility occurred perceptiveness. Are you following? Humility, say it with me, humility occurred and perceptiveness. Bakit importante lahat yan? Now, tingnan po natin, balikan natin si Paul. Let's start with the word humility. Tingnan si Paul. After these days, we got ready and started on our way up to Jerusalem. Some of the disciples from Caesarea also came with us and taking us to Nason of Cyprus, a disciple of long standing with whom we were to lodge. Now, listen to this. Here is Paul with great standing in terms of ministry. Kung sa ministry lang, he was able to minister to so many nations. Compared to the other disciples, siya talaga, he went to other nations. Kasi unang-una, si Paul was an educated, very educated. Compared to the other disciples, sila fishermen, but this guy was trained by Gamaliel. Best rabbi, as in trainer at that time. Kaya pag siya trained by Gamaliel, kaya he was able to minister to philosophers like Epicurean, Stoic philosophers. Matalina si Paul. Magaling si Paul. He can speak Greek. He can speak Hebrew. Kung sa usapan, ang talino itong tao na to. In terms of what, yung achievements sa ministry, malayo. Tama? Ngayon ang tanong, kahit ganun pa siya, he was so humble, willing to travel back up to Jerusalem, ang layo ng biyahe na yon. At alam niya pa yung danger na harapin niya. Bakit kailangan niyang pumunta ron? Because he was to bring support for the people or the church in Jerusalem. Sa madalit salita, magdigihirap sila, and yet, eto, mayayaman yung mga ministeryo niya, willing sila to support. Not only mayayaman, but generous enough. Kahit kayo mga Macedonians, hindi man sila mayaman, and yet they were willing to support. Dadali niya yun. Para saan? Para saan? Para sa mga kapatiran sa Jerusalem. Sobrang mapagpakumbabang tao. Kung ako yan, parang okay na ako dito, komportable na ako. I don't care about them. Let them trust God. Ne, they was willing to travel. Kaya in one of the characteristics of a real Christian, 
a humble. Tingnan nyo, even Nathan of Cyprus. Tingnan nyo, a disciple of long standing. Pag sinabi mong disciple, learner yan, learner. Pag learner yan of long standing, pero mo itong tao na to, kahit na siya nagtuturo na, on, willing pa rin siyang matuto. Alam niyo, sa maraming tao, they claim to be Christians, pero ubod ng yayabang. Ang unang tatya na, ay, alam ko na yan. Tagal na yan, luma na yan. Pagbasa ng Bible, ano ah, basa ko na to? Alam niyo, sa totoo lang, if we are humble enough, our focus is God. Now, listen to this. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng humility? Ang humility, hindi yung mukhang mapagpok ang baba. Wala sa mukha yun. Ang humility, hindi hu yung parang napakabait mo, na parang, sorry, sorry, ganyan. Di ba? Very apologetic. Hindi ganun ang humble. Kahit among Christians, minsan, no, ganyan. Uh, nagwa-worship, di ba? Kakanta ganyan, no? Kakanta. Biglang may darating. Uh, excuse me po. Ganyan. Sabi nga, ah, oh, sige. Tasa ka na. Parang ang humble. Sa loob niya, late kasi dumating. Kita mo nagwa-worship ako kay Lord. Napansin niyo po ba yan? Tapos magtatanong pa ganyan, may nakaupo ho dyan, may nakaupo. Ah, meron na po. Sabi niya, ah, thank you po. Sabi, walang magre-reserve. Tapos siya, resemblance trip. Kano mo siya? Tapos tingin ito. <laughs> diba? Minsan ganun tayo eh. Lalo tayo mga Pilipino. Ah, excuse me po. Yeah, mapapay tayo eh. Walang ganyan sa ibang bansa. Tayo, limuyo ko tayo. Excuse me po. Ganyan. Pero sa loob-loob, kasi dito naman kasi nag-uusap sa kitna eh. <laughs> Nangyong tiniyayang sabihin, Sometimes our idea of humility is in appearance. Wala ho yan doon. Kahit sa meeting, minsan, tatahimik yan, or any, any suggestion, any ano, tahimik lang. Amin konti, bakit tahimik? Kasi isipin na, ano, baka sabihin lang, mayabang ako, salta ko lang, salta. Di ba? Kaya tahimik lang. Paglabas naman, yun ang hirap niya sa mga yan eh. Inaisip lang sarili lang nila. Dapat hindi mo sinabi ng meeting. Ano isipin nila sa akin? Mayabang? Eh, mayabang ka nga. Kasi nga, iniisip mo yung sarili mo. Pagka iniisip mo yung sarili mo as law, iniisip mo yung sarili mo, basta ikaw ang nag- iniisip mo, ikaw, yabang yun. Regardless you're thinking of yourself high or low, you are still proud. Humility is focusing on the truth. Humility is focusing on Jesus. Are you following? Kunyari, kung may gift ka sa pag-awit, hindi pagmamalaking say, gusto ko pong maglingkot para kay Jesus. Eh, ito po ang gift ko, umawit. Pagmamalaki ba yon? It's just telling the truth. Because this is my gift things. Then ito, kung talaga namang humble ka and you're willing to, to serve the Lord and you focus on the Lord, pwede naman sabihin, oh, pasensya ka na, you still have to audition and you need to, to practice. Hindi ba kilala? Back up na ako ni Dion, Celine Dion. Hindi mo ba naintindihan yun? Tapos ako mag-audition pa? Hindi ganon. Kasi isip mo, I'm serving the Lord. Kung yan ang paraan ninyo, of course, I'm willing to audition. I'm willing to practice. I'm willing to give you ano oras po ng practice. Atin po ako. Hindi pwede. Kailangan ko pa ba yan? Kasi bakit? Because you're thinking of Jesus. Naintindihan po natin. Kaya tingnan nyo si David. Si David, 15 years old, about 15 to 17 mukhang mayabang. Bakit? Here is Goliath. Paglabas sa ganoon. Okay, give me your champion. Na pag natalo ko, we will fight. Pag natalo ko, we will serve you. Pero pag natalo kayo, you will serve us. Tama? And everybody was so afraid. Every time Goliath would come out, everybody was cowering and saying, oh, yun namin yung takot kami. Eh dumating yung David. Magdadala ng pagkain ng mga kapatid. Dito sabi niya, ano, ano? Sino yan? Sino yan? uncircumcised Philistine na yan, insulting the army of the living God. Look at him. Sabi to na, ang yabang mo naman, ano ka ba? Di ba? Makasalaan ng taga puso mo. But the truth is this, he may look so proud, but he was the, the most humble among them all. Bakit? Because he was focusing on the Lord, the living God, not on Goliath, but on the Lord whom Goliath was insulting. Naintindihan niya ibig sabihin? The idea is this. If you are humble, hindi na issue to mapapahiya ba ako? Hindi issue yun. I want the truth. I want to tell the truth. I want to proclaim what the truth. Why? Because I'm focusing on the truth. I'm focusing on Jesus. Hindi na issue 
kung mapapang, map, matuto, ano, ma, ma, masisikat ako o hindi, hindi yun ang issue. Maintindihan po natin. Hello? Nandiyan pa kayo? Katuloy, hindi natin makita ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Kasi bakit? Kasi nakafocus lahat sa atin. Yan ang kristyanismo ngayon. Nakakalungkot. Ang kristyanismo ngayon, anong blessing ko kay God? Ano ba ako? Kaya tingnan nyo, kapag ka tayo nagsisilbi sa Diyos, minsan bibigyan tayo ng disappointments, bibigyan tayo ng mga pagsubok, bibigyan tayo ng mga taong magkikritisay sa atin. And those are gifts. You know why? Because it brings out the real reason why we're doing what we're doing. It mirrors us. Ano talagang laman ng puso natin? Nagkakalinihan po. Andiyan pa kayo. Kaya, keep or stay humble. Now, tingnan nyo, tuloy tayo dito. As after we arrive in Jerusalem, the brethren received as gladly. Ang saya-saya nila, tinanggap kami. Sabi, they were so happy because they understood that we're brothers, we're sisters. We are, we are one body. And look at this. And sabi niya, and the following day, Paul went with us to James and all the elders were present. Here is how humble a person they, ano, Paul is. Tingnan nyo si Paul. Pinakita niya rin ito even before, yung kanyang humility. When he received a revelation from God, look at this, then after an interval of 14 years, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas, taking Titus along also. It was because of a revelation that I went up. Bakit siya umakit sa Jerusalem? Because I received a revelation from God. And I submitted to them the gospel which I preached among the Gentiles, but I did so in private to those who were of reputation for fear that I might be running or had run in vain. Nakakuha siya ng revelation. Anong ginawa niya? Hindi niya sabi, wala akong pakialam sa inyo, basta nakausap ko si God. Nagbunyag sa akin si God. Wala akong pakialam kahit na nagsino pa kayo. Walang ganun. Hindi naman monopolize mong Holy Spirit eh. The Holy Spirit is given to the church, to the body of Christ. Kaya kapag ikaw, soloista ka, medyo tagilid ka na, ibig sabihin, wala, kasi yung gospel naman yan, hindi naman yan umusbong sa panahon ko lang. Hindi sa panahon lang ni Paul. Ibig sabihin, nauna pa nga eh, itong mga kasama mo, kaya nga nagsabit siya, ito, mga nakasama ni Jesus ito eh. I need to correct, I need to check whether I'm teaching the right thing. Yun ang humility. Yun ang focusing on the truth. Tama? Nasusunan pa niya ako? Kaya kung ngayon, nagtuturo kayo ng, ano, ng Bible. For example, meron kayong D-group. Be humble enough. Sabihin niyo naman sa D-group leaders niyo. Oh, sir, ito po yung tinuro ko. Hindi ko po sinusunod yung JLC. Eh, ba't hindi mo sinusunod? Di ba? Kaya nga natin ginagawa yan para sabay-sabay tayo. Align tayo lahat. Eh, eh gusto ko. Mas ba, marami ako na, in, na research sa internet. Dami-dami, kakanta. Kaya talo to, talo to. Relax ka lang. Mayroong programa sa lahat ng bagay. Hindi mo naman pwede ituro lahat sabay-sabay. Kaya nga sabi ni Jesus kay sa mga alagad niya, there are so many things I want to teach you, but you are not yet prepared. Naintindi niyo po? Kaya nga may timing yan eh. Kaya nga God gave us some as apostles, some as prophets, some as evangelists, some as pastors and teachers. For what purpose? To equip the saints. Siya nag-ordain nun eh. Para magabayan at mapalaki at mapalago yung church in the stature of Jesus Christ. Are you following? Kaya dun papasok ang humility. Kasi dito, hindi tungkol sa pangalan ko. Hindi, na-receive ko to kay God. Hindi. Tinan si Paul was willing to submit to the leadership that God ordained for the whole church. Are you following? O, okay pa kayo? Kaya kayo po, if you came from another church, and you're learning from us, huwag yun ang sabi siya, Pastor, Pastor, ang ginagawa sa sistema, mas iba ha, mas magaling sila. Ito, gayahin natin, Pastor! Mali-waling, ginagawa mo, Pastor, kaya ang tigas ang ulo mo eh. Walang ganunan. You respect your pastor. You submit to his ways. Kasi baka may ibang revelation, baka ibang paraan ang gusto gawin ng Diyos sa Kanya. Naintindihan natin, but don't fight your pastors. Respect them. No, kung hindi mo siya marirespeto at hindi ka naman din magsusunod, then bumalik ka sa kay Lord. Lord, baka hindi ito ang church na binigay mo sa akin. Bigyan mo ako ng church na doon ako lalago at makakapagsilbi in all humility. But never fight their brothers, the sisters. Naintindihan niyo? Kahit ako, hindi ako ba, mahihimasok ba sa mga yan, inibitahan ako sa isang church, hindi ko sabihin, mali yan, mali yan, mali yan. Wala akong, ibalay e, ko ba? Di ba, merong misang church, hindi ka pareho ng kantahan natin. Mas, merong mga church na ang awitin ay seryoso. Silent night. Di ba, silent night Christian. Gusto, pero they want to worship God in a silent way. Silent night. Di ba? Eh, 
Alam nga naman sa'yo ko, huwag ganyan, dapat joy to the world. Joy to the world. Masaya, may sayo-sayo pag ganyan. Wala yan, hindi kay Christian. Walang ganunan. Kasi, ang mahalaga, are we worshiping Jesus? Nagkakadinan po tayo? Kato no, yung kakatalo. Maliban na lang, iba na yung tungkol kay Jesus. Dari sinasabi niya, ako ang si Jesus. Diba? Walang maliligtas kundi dadaan sa akin. Eh, hindi ka naman taga Jerusalem. Hindi ka naman pinangalak sa Bethlehem. Pinangalak ka sa Pampanga. Paano yun? Oh, di hindi kasi Jesus. Nakuha ninyo? Di hindi ka yung Bible, sinasabi ng Bible. Hindi ka yung fulfillment. Obviously, may to. Diba? Nakuha ninyo? So, balik tayo. Sabi yan, accord. Now, listen to this. Obviously, if you're humble, you're focused on unity. Accord. Now, look at this. Sabi ng, si Jesus mismo, I do not ask on behalf of this alone, but for those also who believe in me through their word. In other words, hindi ko lang ito pinagpapray yung mga disciples, yung mga disciples na nandito, kundi pati yung mga maniniwala sa kalang preachings. Even tayo na yon, Kasama na tayo. Buong church. Tama? Ang sabi niya, that they may be all, that may all be one, even as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, so that the world may believe that you sent me. Do you want the world to know the truth about Jesus? And it's not done by arguing, debating. You know how? By allowing the whole body of Christ loving one another as Jesus loved, and they will know that truly we are disciples of Jesus and truly Jesus is sent by God. Bakit yun ang panalangin ni Jesus? Kasi ang mga Christians, pagdating ng panahon, katulad ng panahon natin ngayon, away ng away, talo ng talo, lagi nagtatalunan ng maraming bagay, ultimong kulay ng dingding pag-aawayan. Napansin niyo ba yun? Pati sa D-group, mag-aaway-aaway pa. Paano pinagtatalunan sa D-group? Sabi ko sa iyo, carbonara eh. Bakit spaghetti din alam mo? Pagtatalunan ba yan? Kaya mag-aaway-aaway yan. Basta ayaw na. Dito, lahat ng carbonarista. Dito. Lahat ng spaghetti. Spaghetti. Dito. Ganun ba yun? Ano yan? Spaghetti fellowship? Diba? At carbonara fellowship? Hindi naman ganun yun eh. May mga pagtatalunan, pati pagkain. Para, hindi na. Ang mahalaga, we work together for one purpose, to proclaim the truth that matters. Nag- Nagkakanilihan po tayo. Tingnan nyo, balik tayo dito. Tingnan, sabi ng Panginoon Diyos, Therefore, I, the prisoner of the Lord, implore you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling with which you have been called. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, showing tolerance for one another in love. Papano? Being diligent to preserve the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Ano sabi niya? Preserve. Ingatan ninyo. Because the moment we receive Jesus Christ into our hearts, we are one in the Spirit of God. But it is now our responsibility to preserve the unity. Ingatan natin yun. Ang dami natin pinagtatalunan. See, you know, we believe that the Bible is inerrant. We believe that the Bible is the authority. But even if we do believe, sometimes we read it differently. Nagkakanilihan po tayo. Ngayon, kung hindi maapektuhan yung major issues like salvation by, by grace through faith, wala tayong pagtatalunan. Jesus Christ ano, is God and fully God, fully man. Wala tayong pagtatalunan kasi nasa Bible yan. Tama? Nagkakanilin naman tayo? Pag pinag-usapan natin, the triune God, that God is one in three person. Wala tayong pagtatalunan dyan, tama? But the moment na nagkaiba-iba tayo, medyo tagalito tayo, magkakagulo tayo. Pero, pwede tayo, sa ibang bagay, pwede tayong magkaiba-iba ng pagbasa. Halimbawa, baptism. Paano ba nagbabaptize? Methodology. Ibig sabihin, ang basa mo, ay, ang sabi sa Bible, sprinkling. Sabi ng Bible, hindi, hindi, immersion, immersion, nilulubog. Alam, magtalo pa yan. Magtatalo pa ba tayo? Ah, dahil kayo ay mga sprinkled baptized kayo, hindi kayo Christian. Eh si Jesus yung kalang tagapagligtas. Eh yun ang kalang intindi. That's the way they grew up na bini-sprinkled. Anong gusto mong mangyari? Sa totoo lang, tingnan ninyo. Yung napako sa krus, nabaptized ba siya? Isipin niyo, Lord, alalahan niyo lang ako ha, sa kaharian ninyo. Ngayon pa lang, makakasama na kita. Okay, para walang gulo. I baptize you. Ganun ba yan? Wala na eh. Pagtatalunan pa ba natin yan? 
Kaya nga tinan nyo, sabi ng Lord, tinan nyo ha, I appeal to you, dear brothers and sisters, by the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ, to live in harmony with each other. Let there be no division in the church. Wag tayong mag-away-away. Rather be one mind, united in thought and purpose. Ang sabi niya, for some members of Chloe's household have told me about your quarrels. nag away away sila. Ano pinag nila? My dear brothers and sisters, some of you are saying, I am follower of Paul. Others are saying, I follow Apollos. I follow Peter. I follow only Christ. Nagtalo-talo. Ah, basta kami, kay Paul kami. Mas magaling si Paul. Ah, wala yan. Kami, mas magaling. Si Apollos. Si Apollos. Ah, hindi yan. Mas magaling si Peter. Siya talagang naunang kausap. Siya, dinisciple ni Jesus. Ang sabi yun, hindi, kay Jesus lang kami. Gulo-gulo niyo. Pero mo pinagtatalo-talunan yan? Alam niyo ba hanggang ngayon nangyayari yan? Ah, kami, kay Arminian kami. Kami, kami, kay Calvinist kami. Bakit? Si Joseph Arminus ba namatay sa atin? Pasa Cruz? Bakit si John Calvin ba namatay sa atin para maligtas sa, kas- sa kasalanan? Hindi naman eh. Yun din nasabi ni Paul. Has Christ been divided into factions? Was I, Paul, crucified for you? Were any of you baptized in the name of Paul? Of course not. Minsan may mga tao na minsan kala nila natutuwa kapag ka ikaw yung bida. Wow! Minsan, ano, with well-meaning people. For example, kanina pagdating ko dito, sabi ka, binulungan lang ako. Basta nang tagal mo wala ah. O nga, o, o, o nga po eh, kasi ano po, inutusan po ako mag sa sa abroad. Ngayon sabi niya, alam niyo pastor, pag wala kayo nag-aalisan ng tao, akala niya matutuwa ako. Pero siyempre, hindi naman yun ang intensyon niya. Pero sa niya, saktan ako, sabi ko sa akin, eh, hindi naman issue kung live or hindi yung video eh. O kung live preacher or video eh. Ang issue Alive ba si Jesus sa puso ng tao? Kasi kung nakasain doon tayo sa instrumento, pinag-aaway-aaway natin instrumento, ah, mas gusto ko si Bong, ah, mas gusto ko si ano, gato. Ano, bubuti bang ating relasyon kay Jesus dahil doon? Eh, si Jesus yung pinupunta natin kasi the life of Jesus is in us and we're looking and that life is looking for the real bread of life. Nakuha niyo? Sa iba, ganun din. Minsan, na pinagsalta ako sa umaga, ganun din. May isang lumapit sa akin. Alam, pastor, nung nalaman ko, ikaw mag-preach, talabas sa sana ako eh. Kasi I came for Pastor Peter. O sabi ko, pasensya na po kayo. Magkaibang magkami-kami, Pastor Peter. Ako, maliit, siya, matangkad. Ako, malaking mata, siya, chinito. Ako, guapo. Siya, mas guapo. <laughs> Di ba? Ano yung tinayag sabihin? Pero pagtatalunan pa natin, lahat kami, instrumento lang ng Diyos eh. And sa totoo lang, magpapatuloy kay kay Kristo with or without us. Bakit? Because we are we are just instruments for us to be in love with Jesus. Nakakatindihan? Kaya po importante ho 'yun. Huwag na nating pagtalunan 'yan. Ah, basta dito kami, dito kami. Huwag na, pati sa kanta nagtatalo pa. Nandiyan ako sa kanina. May mga tao, sabi ganoon, ay Doon, sinulatan pa ako na sabi niya, dapat ang kanta ninyo, ano lang, yung kapareho ng mga kanta nila, John Wesley. Yung, ulitin ko lang, ano, halimbawa, lumaki ka, pinanganak ka, na talagang classical yung kanta, yung classical yung mga tono. Amazing grace, so sweet as love. Eh, siyempre, i-express mo yung kanta mo sa ganong paraan, kasi yun ang kinalakihan mo, yun ang nung pinanganak ka, ganun ang kanta. Ngayon, eh, paano kung pinanganak sa panahon ng mga blues? Kasalanan ba yon ang kanta mo? Amen. Sing with how sweet the sound. Kasalanan ba yon? Hindi. Alam mo sabihin ng mga klasikal, mali yan, hindi ganyan ang pagkanta. Dapat, Amen. Sabihin, hindi. Ganto ka nalang pa. Amen. Sing with how Ano, magtatalo pa ba kayo? Eh, pumasok yung isa, pinanganak ng panahon ng rap. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. No, no, no. Patay ka. Alam, mag-aaway-aaway pa tayo dyan. Hindi na pinag-aawayan yan. Ang pina- wa- bakit natin pag-aawayan? Pagkakakanta lang naman yan, ang pinaka-importante, we have experienced the amazing grace of Jesus. <laughs> diba? Yun ang idea na tinan nyo. Balik tayo. And balik tayo kay Paul. And the following day, Paul went with us to James and the elders of were present. Look at the oneness of heart. 
Sabi niya, after he had greeted them, he began to relate one by one the things which God had done among the Gentiles through his ministry. He was so excited to tell them, brothers, the victory I experienced, the, the, what I witnessed on how the Lord saved the Gentiles, I know that this is also your joy because this is exactly what God told us to do. Go and make disciples of all nations. Kaya excited silang ikwento because this is not just our victory. This is the victory of the whole body of Jesus Christ. Nagkakadinihan? Kasi tatin to eh. No, tinan po, tinan niyo po. Halimbawa si Pastor Ricky, kanina umaga, he was sharing with us what God is doing, not only in Elevate, but only in, in CPAC, in the ministry that we have in CCF. Baka hindi pa kayo aware because we're one body, you need to be aware. Let's watch. And so this afternoon, I want to share with you a couple of encouraging stories. Is that okay? Let me tell you about Floor, a lady. A lady who grew up without a father because she was actually a product of rape. She grew up with her mother and her grandparents. Obviously, major things missing in her life. Her circumstances were very humble. She began partying and going out with friends at the age when many people start doing that. She got pregnant. The man who got her pregnant married her, and together they had three children. And things seemed to be going okay until she discovered one day that her husband was into drugs. And that began the daily fights between Floor and her husband and the spiraling downward of their married life. I don't know what exactly Floor was thinking, but one point, at one point in her life, perhaps, remember that old saying, if you can't beat them, join them. That's what she did. She joined her husband in the use of drugs. And before they knew it, they were not just users, they were pushers, they were sellers. And you know how dangerous that became in the Philippines when you were doing that for a living. It was only a matter of time until the husband got caught, he got thrown in jail, Floor got caught. A bit later on, she was also thrown in a jail. I'm unable to tell you what has become of her husband, but I'll tell you what has become of Floor. In jail, Floor had a chance to do a lot of soul searching, obviously, and she began to seek God. She began to attend Bible studies in jail. One day, there was a program that was launched inside the jail where she was. And by the way, she still is. That program is called SIPAG. Anybody heard of SIPAG? Simula ng Pag-asa. It's a very simple but very biblical program that the Lord allowed CCF to introduce to the government and which many other Bible-believing churches are actually using to reach out to drug surrenderers. And so, when Floor joined the CPAG program, it changed, the Lord changed her life. Not the program, Jesus. And today, Floor, as you can see in this photograph with the faces blurred, she's now one of the many volunteers, facilitators of the CPAG program inside the prison. But let me tell you another thing. Floor is just one of maybe 200,000 people who have gone through or are going through the CPAG program. All of them inevitably hearing the gospel of Jesus Christ. So is God amazing or is He amazing? And I'm sure that's how the Apostle Paul went, relating one by one what God is doing, just like we're doing now. And it says, you know, the people rejoice. Let me give you another story. Let me tell you about a young man named Julius. Julius was a very angry young man. He grew up angry and bitter towards his father. He got into drinking and into drugs at a young age, obviously in the company of bad people, bad friends. And at some point, uh, someone, some people began to invite him to CCF. He would refuse until one day he finally said, to a, he said yes to a youth camp. And there he heard about the Father's love. Ironically, despite his 
bitterness and hatred towards his father, he realized how amazing a father God is, that he sent his son Jesus so that Julius could have a new life. And so that day, Julius gave his life to Jesus Christ, and the transformation began. Long story short, Julius got a, had a burden for his family. Julius had a burden for young people. Today, he is holding a Bible study with his family. Obviously, he has been reconciled with his dad, and, and they, they love each other as they love Jesus together. But Julius joined CCF on staff full-time some time back, and he is now overseeing the youth ministry in one segment of Metro Manila. Somewhat recently, Julius had a prayer retreat with his wife, with their discipleship network and volunteers, and this is what that prayer retreat looked like. It's quite amazing, isn't it? How God can take, yes, you can applaud God, why not? Don't hold back, people of God. But wait, there's more. Even more recently, these same young people, volunteers, etc., they invited many other young people to come to the Elevate anniversary, again held in that portion of Metro Manila, and so many youth came to that event and they heard the gospel of Jesus. So folks, I hope you and I understand what an amazing experience it is to just recount these things that God does. Because that's what we live for, helping people know Jesus and be transformed. Uh, praise God. Napansin po? Amen. Praise the Lord. Imagine without even some of us knowing what God is doing. Yung CPAG, that's a, ano, yung program po natin yan to help yung mga ano, drug surrendery, eh, mga drug addict, eh, mga, ano, mga substance abuse surrenderies. Na, talagang tinutulungan nun natin sila. Talagang programa with the government. And amazing si God. Ang dami ang inaabot. Basta niya, 200,000. As, ito po yung mga kabataan. Ito, isang segment lang yan. Kanina, narikinig natin yung mga 300, more than 300 campuses. And yet, sa totoo lang, Ang lead pa nun compared to the whole Philippines. How many campuses we have? Kaya God is continually calling the whole body of Jesus Christ, looking for people who would really work, that we will work together and focus on the truth that matters. Minsan ang isip natin, eh kasi wala naman kami pera eh, kasi wala naman. Come on guys. If it is the truth, now listen to this. God Himself promised that He will take care of us if we focus on His righteousness and on His kingdom. Amen? Siya naman nagpo-provide eh. Hindi naman niya tayo pababayaan. Ang mahalaga, alam natin that we have maxed out our lives for Jesus as He has given His all for all of us. No, tinan niyo po ang resulta. Ganun din kay Paul, when he was sharing about what happened, ito sabi niya, and when they heard it, they began glorifying God. Not glorifying Paul, they're glorifying God. They were focused on the truth that matters. And they said to him, you see brother, hindi lang din yun. And thank God for what you did. And thank God for what God is accomplishing through you. Now look at this. Brother, how many thousands there are men among the Jews? Hindi lang sa mga Gentiles, but the Lord also reached out to so many Jews. And of those who have believed, and they're zealous for the law. Ang yan, nakakatawa. Pero Paul, nakasakali lang. And they have been told about you, that you are teaching all the Jews who are among the Gentiles to forsake Moses, telling them not to circumcise their children nor to walk according to the customs. Now listen to this. Because sabi niya, Teka, Paul, eh, ito may problema. And what, what then is to be done? They will certainly hear that you have come. Now, ito yung mga, alaga, eh, mga elders, ito si James, he was telling Paul, Thank God for what He has accomplished. Pero Paul, may, ano tayo, may problema tayo. Kasi marami nang nanampala tayo kay Jesus ng mga Hudyo. And now they are receiving reports about your teachings na hindi na raw dapat gawin yung custom ng mga Hudyo. Eh, for the Jewish people, this is something parang wow, basama yan. Tama? And amazing dito sa mga elders, they didn't say, alam mo Paul, ayusin mo yan ha? Laking kasananan mo. Hindi ganun. They did not believe. They did just say concluded. They gave Paul the benefit of the doubt. That's how we Christians work to preserve the unity of the faith. Kunyari, pag may nagkwento sa iyo, uy, alam mo ba, si ano, ganito. Huwag yung, teka mo na, huwag kang magpapaniwala. Nagkakaninan tayo? 
Agad. Kasi fake news yan. Hindi necessary. Kung yan, kung totoo man yan, anong dapat mong gawin? Katulad ng ginawa ng mga elders, the James. Because they are to be, to preserve the unity, kay Paul nila sinabi, o Paul ito, hindi chinichismis kung kanin-kanino, nasisiraan. Hindi, kay Paul, kasi tinan si Paul, totoo ba yung mga pinagsasabi na yan? Balikan nga natin. Si Paul came to Derby and Lystra and the disciple was there named Timothy. Naalala si Timothy? Half Jew, half Greek. Kasi yung mama niya, Hujo, tatay niya, Grego. Ayan o, oh, father was a Greek. Now, ngayon, Paul wanted this man to go with him. So para hindi siya maging cause ng stumbling block to the other Jews, he took him and circumcised him. Talaga bang hindi niya pinagagawa yung costo? Hindi, pinakisircumcised niya nga eh. Tama? Oh, sunod. Ito pa. Sa Acts 18. Nabalikan lang natin. Paul, having remained many days longer to live of the brethren and put on the sea of Syria. And with him were Priscilla and Aquila. And in Sencria, he had his hair cut for he was keeping a vow. Anong vow yan? Nazarite vow. And he was just using cunning custom na tinuro ni Moses. So he was not doing anything contrary to what Moses taught them as Jewish people. Ano yung tingin sabihin? Now Listen. Kapag may narinig kayo yung mga kwentuhan, keso ganito, ganito, ganyan, dapat wag na tayo, ha, ganun ba? Wag. Pag-pray nyo na lang. Dali nyo sa dapat nakaukulan, kinaukulan, hindi para mag-create tayo ng lalong kasiraan na hindi naman kailangan. Dahil hindi, kasi ganito lang yan. Kung totoo man yun, anong gusto mong gawin? We need to help the person to be restored back to God, not to be destroyed. Tama? Kaya nga, we preserve the unity. Now, let's continue. Yan sabi ng Paul, tinayo. And therefore, say, do this, that we tell you, we have four men who are under a vow para hindi na maging issue pa yan. Ano, punta ka na ulit doon sa temple and sama, sasama ka na apat na lalaki. And sabi niya, take them and purify yourself along with them. Niya, following the same ano, no, procedure. And pay their expenses. Tinan niyo, sabi, pwede ba sabihin niyo, sayang naman, ako pa magbabayad, sobra naman sila. Hindi, hindi. Kasi he was focused on the accord of one body so that they may shave their heads. And all we know that there is nothing to the things which they have been told about you, but that you yourself also walk orderly keeping the law. Naintindihan? And look at this. But concerning the Gentiles who have believed, now, may, may, let us assure you, Paul, yung mga Gentiles sa mananiwala, I'm telling you, we wrote having decided that they should abstain from meat sacrifice to idols and from blood and from what is stra- strangled and from, fornic- from fornication. Ano siya sabi niya? Paul, para walang gulo, for the sake of these people, you follow the, the custom, sige, tuloy mo na, para hindi sila may stumble. And ikaw naman, sabi niya, and just to assure you, you mga Gentiles, just as we have agreed in Acts 15, that salvation is only by grace through faith. Kaya naman sinabi namin sa kala, para hindi naman masira yung fellowship ng Hudyo at saka Gentiles, huwag na silang kumain. Anything with blood, anything with, ano, parang sacrifice to idols, and to, for them to refrain from fornication. So malinaw, tama? They were maintaining the unity in the body of Jesus Christ. Kapatid, ganito. If you have issues, disagreements, maybe hindi naman as in major, like methodology, Kesa magalit ka, isettle mo na lang. Ayusin mo. Kasi hindi lahat ng bagay mapap... Kaya sabi nga, hindi natin mapapagkasunan lahat ng bagay pa. Kaya sabi nga ni, ano, ni Pastor, Peter, Pastor Ricky kanina, in, ma, in major matters or in essentials, unity. In non-essentials, diversity. But in all things, charity. Nagkakanidahan tayo. Hindi man tayo magkaintindihan kung papaano uh, sa larangan ng pagkain. But pero, kung gusto mo, puro gulay lang. Isa naman, hindi, okay lang kami kumain ng baboy. Kaysa mag-away tayo dyan, hindi naman yan essential sa kalagtasan mo. Pero essential sa gutom mo. E di, kumain ka kung gusto mo. Pero ingatan mo lang na hindi ma-stumble yung ibang tao. Kasi we are to act in love. Tama? Nakakaninan? Okay, good. No, halimbawa, halimbawa lang, isa pa, para magkaindinan tayo. Halimbawa, damit. May mga tao talaga, allergic, pag nakakita na nakashort, ano ba yan? Ba't naman nakashort yan? Na, na, nasa church tayo, ay, ano ba yan? Kapatid, huwag na, ikaw, malay mo yan, umurong na yung pantalon niya. 
Ang tigyan mo na. Huwag ka na lang tumingin sa legs niya. Tumingin ka kay Jesus. Hindi ba? Nakuha niya yun. Misa kasi lahat tinitingnan natin. Eh, ba't naman niya nakakita pa yung puso? Eh, ba't kasi doon ka nakatingin? Sa laki naman ng mukha niya, ba't naman puso na tinititigan mo? Hindi ba? Huwag ka na doon tumingin. Eh, kung doon sa komportable magsilbi sa Diyos. Pero ikaw naman, kung ikaw naman yung tipong mag, ano, consensus ka rin sa ibang tao, isipin mo rin, next time, Isipin mo rin na huwag na makita yung pusod mo para naman alang-alang sa mga ang tingin lang ay pababa, hindi pa taas, di ba? Kasi mayroong mabababa talagang tingin, may mga pusod na nakikita, di ba? Lilit sila. Oh, ano magagawa? Pagbigyan mo na, huwag na silang maging tukso pa, huwag ka na maging tukso pa sa kanila. Na, nakuha ninyo? In other words, in everything, let's do it with love, without passing judgment with one another, with the things that are not essentials. Nakakanin yan? Now, now, finally, balik tayo dito, kaya eh, ito napaka-importante. So, sabi ng Panginoon Diyos, napakaganda. Let's go to letter P. Sabi niya, perceptiveness. This is something very important. If we want to focus on the truth that really matters, as Paul practiced it, we should also do the same. Dignan niyo. Then Paul took the men and the next day purifying himself along with them and went into the temple giving notice of the completion of the, dele- of the days of purification until the sacrifice was offered for each one of them. Now, listen. How you perceive things, okay, is affected by what you have inside your heart. Ulitin ko. What abounds in your heart affects the way you perceive things. Now, see, Paul, he knew that we were saved by grace through faith. He knew na hindi na doon sa mga rituals, hindi na yan. But, because he cares for his fellow Israelites, nakuha niya? And because he was focused on the truth, he was willing to obey. He was humble enough to submit to the leadership. He was keeping and preserving the unity of the body. Kaya, sumunod siya. Now listen to what he said. Bakit ganun na lang si Paul? He was really focused on the truth. Look at this. For though I am free from all men, sa totoo lang, malaya ako, wala ang pwede magdikta sa akin ang pwede kong gawin. Nakan niya? But I made myself a slave to all so that I may win more. Are you following? He was focused on the truth that you want to receive from him. To the Jews, I became as a Jew so that I might win Jews to those who are under the law as under the law, though not being myself under the law, so that I might win those who are under the law. Nakuha niyo? For example, ito, na-experience ko na ito. Supposing you are to minister sa mga bundok. Nalimawa na, mag-minister sa bundok. Eh, ikaw medyo laki ka na malinis lahat, pinakukuluan lahat. Eh, biglang, doon sa may ministeryohan mo, yung kape, isa lang ang baso. At nagtatawa kay Pelosi, pag magpapasahan pa. Tapos, yung pagsusundan mo, ganito pa. <laughs> Tapos may marka pa ng mga marka ng labi doon. Tapos sabihin pa ba, <laughs> linisi natin muna yan. Ako. Mag-sanitize ka pa. Gaganayin mo ba yun? Hindi. You focus on the truth. Paano kung mamatay ako? Relax ka lang, hindi ka mamamatay pag hindi mo pa panahon. Dahil may pinagagawa pa si Lord sa iyo. Naintindihan niyo po? So, hindi ka mag arti arte Ay, sorry. Ang sabi niya, ah, masi-CR po ako eh. San ba ang CR niyo? Diyan. San dyan? Diyan. Sa may bato. Ba- bato? Wala pa kayong kasinas dito nagpa-plus! Hanap ah, ka pa ba ng ganyan? Come on, you are to win. Kaya your perception... Ay, papano yan? Wala nang ganun kasi you are looking at the souls of these people which is more valuable than your practice and custom at home. Tama? Nag-alala ko, nandun kami sa halahala, kakain kami, ano, magmi-ministeryo kami. Tapos bilang, sa lahat naman, ang panakain sa amin, isipin ninyo, ginataan hal- na halo-halo at kamatis. Anong kombinasyon to? First time ko ito nakakita, ginataan at kamatis. Siyempre, eh, ako po medyo, nung panahon na yon medyo ano po yung chan ko. Siguro, kakakain ko ng mga kalawang naging sensitive. So, eto na, sabi ko, 
Panginoon Diyos, alam ko yung sarili ko, talagang mahina ang tiyan ko. Pag kumain ako ng ganito, sigurado to, ano na to, tapos na to, maghahanap talaga ako ng kasilyas ito at maya. Di pray na ako, God. Tulungan niyo po ako. Hindi naman ako pwede sabihin, sorry po, hindi ako pwede kumain niya. Di, nakakaya. Grabe naman itong pastor. Ang arte-arte naman itong pastor na to. Perception. Naintindihan? We need to be perceptive. Nata, di sabi nung kasama ko, wala yan! Kainin mo yan! Pero ako, nag-pray na talaga ako, Panginoon Diyos. Tulungan niyo po ako. Kakainin ko po ito alang-alang sa kanila, pero wag po ninyo ko kaya ang magdudumi rito. Di ba? Di ba? Kinain ko po. Kain. Yung isa tawa ng tawa, the following day, hanap siya ng hanap na kasi. <laughs> kasi alam nyo, pride goes before destruction. But you know what? Itong amazing sa Diyos. Hindi ako nakaranas ng ganong problema. And ito lang, because you want to win more. Are you following? Your perception is so important. Kaya you need to be perceptive sa bawat pangyayari. Sa halip na palaban ka, lagi pag-isipan, what God is telling me about this? Now, let's continue. Tingnan nyo. When the seven days were almost over, the Jews from Asia upon seeing Him in the temple began to stir up all the crowds and laid hands on Him. And sabi niya, crying out, Men of Israel, come to our aid. This is the man who preaches to all men everywhere against our people and the law and the place. And besides, He has even brought Greeks into the temple and has defiled this holy place. Sabi niya, for they had previously in Trophimus, the Ephesians in the city. With him, they supposed that Paul had brought him into the temple. Why are these people looking at that? Why are they so angry at Paul? Kaya nakita na si Paul, nakita lang na si Trophimus, oh, dinala niya sa temple. Now listen to this. For them, temple is the score of their nationality. Kaya napakaingat sa kanilang temple. Kasi yung temple is a symbol of their dignity, a symbol of their pride as a nation. Nagkakaninan tayo? Kaya nga nung sa Hagay, nung maliit yung temple na ginawa after distracting the first temple of Solomon, nung lumiit, lungkot nung iba, nag because somehow our glory has fallen, parang minimized. No? Nako ninyo? Et, et, nung pumasok si Jesus, sabi ni Jesus, someone better than the temple has come. Ganitong lito yung mga tao. And in fact, the Lord destroyed that temple because it was prophesied by Jesus Himself. Nako ninyo yung sabihin? Kanon sila, kaya their perception, nobody should defile the temple because anyone who does, patay. They will kill. Kaya hindi pwede ang Grego dito, hindi pwede Gentiles dito. Pero to si Paul, they look at him as a traitor. Bakit? These are Hellenistic Jews. Nalala nyo sino nag, 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 ano, nag, nag stone to death kay, kay Stephen? Hellenistic Jews. Si Paul was one of them because he was a Hellenistic Jew. Nakuha niya? For in their mind, in their hearts, try door si, si Paul. Kaya gulpi yan. Kaya everything that Paul does, mali. Because, ulitin ko, what is in your heart affects your perceptiveness. Naintindihan? Kaya kapag ang tingin mo sa tao, malabo, lahat ng gawin yan, malabo na yan. Wala ka nang makikita ang tama dyan. Nakuha niya? Kaya ingatan natin ang ating mga puso. Tuloy tayo. And then all the city was provoked and the people rushed together and taking hold of Paul, they dragged him out of the temple and immediately the doors were shut and while they were seeking to kill him, a report came up to the commander of the Roman cohort. All Jerusalem was in confusion. Now, tinan nyo, at once he took some soldiers, centurions, and down to them and when they saw the commander and the soldiers, they stopped beating Paul. Saka lang sila tumigil. Now, tanong yung sarili niya. Alam ba talaga nila yung nangyayari? Bakit lang ginugulpi si Paul? Ito. Then the commander came up and took hold of him and ordered him to be bound with two chains. And he began asking who he was and what he had done. But among the crowd, some were shouting one thing and some another. And when he could not find out the facts because of the uproar, he ordered him to be brought into the barracks. <laughs> ano nakakatawa? Yan ng tao. They say things na hindi naman nila naintindihan. Sometimes they do things na hindi naman nila naintindihan. They shout one thing, they shout another thing. Now, ito, recently lang, nagtanong sila sa mga tao, agree ka ba sa soggy bill? Agree ka ba sa soggy bill? Agree ka ba sa soggy bill? Now, nothing against or nothing personal, ha? Baka kaala nyo, galit ako sa mga an. Sabi ko, ang dali lang sa magot, oo oh, naman, dapat yan, agree tayo dyan. Nung tinanong ako, ikaw, agree ka ba? Siyempre, kailangan ko muna malaman ano nakasulat dyan. Alam ka naman, mag-agree ka kagad, hindi mo nalalaman. Nakukuha ninyo? Some people, yung kalang pagtingin sa buhay, they just easily make conclusion without even looking at it. 
Pag-isipan niyo mabuti. Andiyan pa kayo? Kaya, there's nothing wrong. Basta tingnan mo. Yan ba ay constitutional? Kasi simple lang. So, para maintindihan niyo mabuti. Kunyari yung proposal, the recent proposal. Yung recent lang. Yung hindi pa naman na, ano, napapasa. Pero nakabasa ako ng konti. Eh, kaya ayoko pa mag-conclude. Konti pala nabasa ko eh. Ganito yan. In our constitution, all of our rights are equally protected. Tama ba? But kapag ikaw na discriminate, kayo po na discriminate kayo as a mother, for example, mother po ba kayo? Kasi mukha kayong dalaga eh. Nox. <laughs> Para sigurado lang. <laughs> nah, ba, mother. Then you were discriminated as a mother, ang, ang parusa sa inyo will be determined by the judge. Tama? Dependent on the gravity of the offense. Tama? Because that's your protection. Regardless of who you are, you are equally protected. Tama ba? Doon sa proposal, kapag sila na-offend, 600,000 and 6 years of imprisonment. In other words, hindi na equal protection yun. You are favoring a group over the rest. That if you're not part of this section of group of people, edi, you're less protected. Hindi na yun constitutional. constitutional. Ngayon, if ever, itong group na to, somehow, yung, yung freedom of religion, freedom of expression, affected them, yari ka. Ano hindi na yun ba nangyayari? So before you say, ah, agree, agree, mag-isip ka naman, bago, bago mag-agree, agree. Di naman masamang mag-agree, basta naintindihan mo, perceptiveness. Nagkakadindihan tayo. Andiyan pa kayo? Nagagalit ba kayo? Wala namang masama doon, di ba? Kasi hindi naman tayo galit sa kanila, kasi mahal natin sa bawat isa eh. Kasi sa totoo lang, kaya ako natatakot. Kasi baka mamaya yung doktor, hindi na pwede mag-declare. Ay, anak niyo po, lal- Ay, hindi pala pwede masabi. Pag hindi mo man pwede tanongin sa, sa birth certificate, anong gender, wag muna. Malalaman mo pa after. Kaya magbabago pa isip niya. Kung lalaki o babae, dependent sa kanyang preference. Oh, may pa na. Pag nagsabi ng doktor, lalaki po anak niyo, oops, that is against the law. Ah, Nanti na yung sabihin? Gusto niya ng ganyang gulo? <laughs> Hindi malayong mangyari yan if we are not perceptive enough with what's going on. Naintindihan? Kaya ako lang ginamit yan kasi yan ang common na nangyari ngayon. Kaya lang nasabi ko, okay? At yung nakatulog, huwag niyo ako i-co-coat dahil hindi niyo narinig. Okay. Balik tayo, balik tayo. Now, tinan niyo po ito. When he got to the stairs, he was carried by the soldiers because of the violence of the mob. This is wonderful about Paul. For the multitude of the people kept following them, shouting, away with him! Now, look at Paul. Paul remained calm. Gulpi sarado na. Hindi nag-react, hindi na gano. Bakit? Because in his mind, ano mga anong pumapasok sa kanya? Perhaps when he was saying, away with him, he remembered the very scenario where Jesus Christ was being crucified and they were saying, away with him, crucify him. Maybe in his heart, he remembered the very day when Stephen was being stoned to death. Away with him. And maybe he was seeing all things work for good because it was prophesied by Agabus before these things happened that I would be bound. His heart was filled with truth of what God has already told him that might transpire. Tama? Kaya hindi siya nagagalit. Tinan nyo, yung presence of mind niya, grabe pa rin. Tinan nyo, tuloy tayo. As Paul was about to be brought to the barracks, he said to the commander, may I say something to you? Pero huwag ka na, nakapag. Tama niya. And he said, do you know Greek? Ang grabe nag-iisip po. Do you know Greek? Kasi alam niya, if these are Greek people, they can easily, we can easily connect. Tama? Ha, hindi na lang ako tatasabi niyo gano'n. Then you are not Egyptian. <laughs> Tinan niyo, yung mga sundalo na hindi alam pala na Greek siya, hindi ka pala Egyptian. Who sometime ago stirred up a revolt and led the 4,000 men to the assassins out in the wilderness. Ha, niya, no, no, Paul said, no, I am a Jew of Tarsus in Cilicia, a citizen of a very significant city. Talagang, ano sabi niya, and I beg you, allow me to speak to the people. And sabi niya, and when he had given him permission, Paul, standing on the stairs, motioned to the people with his hand. And when there was a great hush, he spoke to them in the Hebrew dialect, saying, Oops, tigil tayo sandali. Here is Paul. In his mind, everything that's happening, biglang lahat ito, sinabi niya ng Diyos sa akin, lahat ito, nakita ko na rin na nangyari kay Jesus Christ. So in other words, all things work for good for those who love the Lord. Tama ba? And he took that chance. Nasabi niya, Greek ka ba? 
Kasi ito po, din, perhaps he, he had spoken in Greek. Tama? Ang galing, no? Parang alam niya what to connect. Alam niyo, kahit sa mga pangyayari, minsan, pag gulpi sarado ka na, huwag mo kagad, mga lagot kay sa akin, lagot kay, pag pray ko, mapatay kay lahat! <laughs> Hindi ganun eh. He was still looking for a chance for the gospel to be proclaimed, for the truth to be proclaimed to these people. Malalaman niyo yan sa susunod nating pagtatagpo when we study Acts 22. And, sabi niya, and, they, and Paul was stick to that. No, 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 give me permission to speak. Kaya naman, when he began to speak, he spoke, spoke in Hebrew. Para connect kagad. Connect kagad. Now, Christians, let me teach, teach you something. Sa office niyo, maaaring may bar, galit sa inyo. Bago kayo magsalita, and, ah, uh, binibersigot niyo ako. Wag, relax ka lang. Start by loving them, praying for them. And let God teach you what, how to connect with them. Kunyari ako as a pastor, one time I was invited to speak in a certain, uh, a certain group. Hindi sila Christians. Tapos isang pastor din na imbitahan. And he began to speak. Siya una, hindi ko nga narinig yung preaching niya, pero he began to speak about the gospel and he was so strong, sabi nila. And alam nyo, pinagbawalan. Kinaintuhan ako kasi pinagbawalan siya. Huwag kang gagamit ng verses, huwag kang ganyan. Hindi ko alam yun. Nalaman ko after na ako nagsalita. Okay? Para maintindihan nyo yung nangyari. Kasi the following day, magsasalta kami ulit. Parang dalawang session, magkaibang batch. Ang daming pinagpawalan sa kanya. Tapos pinantaan pa siya, binantaan. Ngayon, hindi ko ba alam. Ako naman, nagsalita ako. I started speaking. And trust me, I was not using Romans. I was, not, I was saying, according to Apostle Paul, according to St. Luke, according to other authors. Ibig sabihin, I was quoting different authors and kasama sila. Ano, si St. John, ganyan, no? Hindi na, hindi na papansin yung Bible, but they beginning to accept it. And after a while, sabi niya, pastor ka ba? Oh, di ba? Namansin niyo? Na hindi sila nagalit dahil naramdaman nila, hindi ko ha, hindi sa pagmamalaki, naramdaman nila yung respeto sa kanila and presenting the gospel that they can, they can understand. Hindi yung language sang natin, ipipirit natin yung language natin and hoping that they will adjust to us. Naintindihan niyo po. Sa church, nag-uusap tayo, darechan tayo church. Pero pag sa labas, relax ka lang. Don't use our terminologies. Hoy, praise God! Patay ang tatay mo! Wala namang ganyanan. Ano minsan, di ba? Minsan, may mga tao yung sobrang tuwa mo. Praise God! Patay ang tatay mo! Atay sa langit na siya! Pwede ba maging perceptive ka and say, alam ko masakit mawala ng tatay. Pero andito ako as your brother. I must shoulder to lean on. Kung willing ka lang. Ako ninyo? Then, then let them hear not only the truth, but let them see the truth through our perceptiveness. Nagkakindidihan. Now, let me end. Let me end. Uh, meron po akong isang tulang babasahin sa inyo. And hopefully makatulog po sa atin ito, sa atin pong pagkaunawa when it comes to perceptiveness. And here I will end. Ito po yung tulang pangalan, it's you. Sabi niya, says I to myself. Sabi ko sa sarili ko. Nagreklamo ko, I grumbled and growled. I'm sick of my church. Ayaw ko na sa church. Sabi niya. And then I scowled. The members unfriendly. Mga membro, ah, it's And the sermon's too long. Oo nga naman. Sabi niya. In fact, it seems that everything's wrong. Lahat, mali. I don't like the singing. The church, a disgrace. Kahihiyan. For signs of neglect are all over the place. I'll quit going there. Ayoko na. I won't even give sa Tagalog, ni singkong duling, hindi ako magbibigay. Naintindihan niyo? Ang sabi niya, I can't make better use of my money and time. Then my conscience says to me, Says he, the trouble with you is you are blind to see that your church reflects you. Yung church mo, ikaw yan. Reflection mo yan. Whatever it be, now come, pray, and serve cheerfully. Stop all your fault finding and boost it up strong. Sa alit na hinahanap yung mali nila, pwede pa encourage yung palakasin mo sila. You'll find you'll be happy and proud to belong. Be friendly. Instead of looking for others to be friendly, you be friendly. And be willing and sing as you work for churches as not built by members who shirk. 
So sa halip na ang nakikita mo, puro masama, be perceptive. The challenge is this, friends. You want to focus on the truth? Remain humble. Stay humble. Focus on maintaining, preserving the unity in the body. One accord. Nagkakaninan po? And be perceptive. Instead of judging the situation based on, look at it from the eyes of God. Why He allowed this to happen? Nakuha natin? Natandaan ninyo, next week, anniversary natin. Kaya dali nyo na yung mga lahat na madadalan nyo. Bakit? Let's focus on the truth that matters. Kakanidihan? Tayo pong lahat ay yumukot pumikit. Mga kapatid, habang tayong lahat na kayo ko, nakapikit, may I request everyone to just really close your eyes. Give yourself a chance to think. Meditate. Ay, maraming tao hindi na nag-iisip. Pikit mo na tayo. Pikit. Wala, don't look at anybody. Just close your eyes. Okay? Don't watch the person next to you. You close your eyes. Nakikita kita kung hindi ka nakapikit. You think. Alam mo kapatid, minsan ka hindi ka malaya because you're not focused on the truth. You're not really committed to remain with Jesus, the truth. Minsan, we are fighting for our ideas. Sometimes, we're fighting for our name. Tandaan nyo to. Our name will not last forever. But the name of Jesus will be forever. And everyone will bow down and confess that Jesus is Lord. Sinong pinaglalaban mo? Sinong pinamumuhay mo? Focus on Jesus, the truth that matters. So tayo po manalangin. Father God, I thank you that you know everyone in this room. I pray, Lord our God, to really help us understand and help us to focus on you, Jesus, the truth that really matters. Ang dami po mga bagay na ino-offer ang mundo. And sometimes, we get so distracted that we forget that you are our priority. Sometimes, we even use the ministry, Father God, to, be, to distract us from really serving you. Sometimes, we allow people around us to distract us from really following you. Lord Jesus, I pray to help every one of us to serve you with all of our hearts by focusing on you, the truth that really matters. Hindi ho yung pera, hindi po yung pananak, sa mga pain na nararanasan namin, hindi po yung gusto namin, kundi kayo. Na siyang nagmahal sa amin, na binigay ang iyong sarili, na pako sa krus. Father God, leaving the comfort of heaven, just for us to be safe. Panginoon, people may turn their backs on us, but you, you gave your back to be scourged for us. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins and allow us to use all our energies, our time, and whatever we have right now, to be focused on you, the truth that really matters. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you and good night.